Welcome everyone to Construct Canada. I'm Michael Mancini, Editor-in-Chief of Canada Export Magazine, the e-magazine of the Canadian Trade Commissioner Service. Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Construct Canada 2008. Today and tomorrow I'll be speaking to a variety of Canadian companies and experts live here at Construct Canada. I invite you to stop by and listen to what our entrepreneurs and experts have to say about this booming sector, uh, about what the future holds for this industry, especially as world economies begin to struggle. I also invite you to learn more about the Canadian Trade Commissioner Service, Canada's most comprehensive network of international business professionals. So go to tradecommissioner.gc.ca for more information. And while you're there, please subscribe to Canada Export, our free twice monthly magazine. I'd like to welcome my next guest, Dolores Ursini, Vice President of Duroc All Facing Limited. Thank you very much for taking the time today. Thank you for having me. So first of all, tell me a little bit about your company, Duroc All Facing. Okay, Duroc is a Canadian family owned business. Okay. We manufacture acrylic coatings and what we call EFS, exterior insulated finish systems, uh, along with a line of specialty interior design finishes and concrete resurfacing type products. So basically we're in the coatings industry and exterior insulated finish systems. I see. And is, um, is your product strictly residential or does that have non-residential applications as well? No, it's for all types of construction, okay. residential, commercial, industrial, uh, both interior and exterior. Okay. Uh, unique to Dura yep. is a system, an EVE system that we call PUX. And PUX is a uh, patented design that we have behind our expanded polystyrene board. Mm -hmm. Okay, this design is for air filtration and drainage. Okay. And this system here was tested by the Canadian Construction Material Center. It was the first to have an evaluation over wood substrates. So we're very proud of that as Canadians. Okay. How does it fit in into the, uh, to the green world? Yes, well, the systems themselves are energy efficient. Okay. Uh, because a styrofoam is expanded polystyrene okay. and has an R value of four per inch. Okay. So these systems are insulated and you'll find that, uh, you know, doing your home and one of these systems will save you between 20 and 30 percent on your energy costs. Oh, is that right? Yes. Tell me a little bit about what opportunities you have found, uh, your company has found in foreign markets. Well, we just recently came back, uh, Marie Angel and I, from um, Hokkaido, mm. uh, which is near Tokyo in Japan. We did uh, this project here, the Tomamu Towers, wow. which were two existing towers uh, that were faced with a ceramic tile that was delaminating. Uh, uh. They searched the world over, the Japanese, and decided that our puck system was the one that was best suited for these buildings. So wow. we sent one of our technical fellows over there along with a local contractor to teach their people and help them install this system. Right. And they did an absolutely beautiful job. And they too, uh, we spoke to the owners there, mm -hmm. and they too were telling us how uh, they have saved about 40% on their energy costs. Wow, that's huge. It is. So it's you're in huge. Japan. Uh, do you have a presence in other parts of Asia as well? We do. Uh, we've been selling to uh, China for a number of years. Um, we're also in Europe. Uh, yep. We do all of the Caribbean. Um, we distribute product around the world. Wow, that's great. Now, you, I mean, we can take many different regions as examples, but what are some of the different challenges that you have faced, uh, whether it be market access, um, uh, getting connected to, uh, to the right people? What are some of the challenges that you faced in doing business abroad? Exactly. Um, I think the biggest challenge is that international business, people have to realize, takes a little bit more time. Uh, the people have to have a really a comfort level. You have to build that relationship. Yeah. And being so far apart, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Right. You know, um, North American construction is a little different than around the world. We have all of these energy type efficient systems right. that aren't widely used there as yet, although everyone is looking towards a greener tomorrow. Right. So they are becoming more and more popular. Right. Um, how do you overcome these challenges? I mean, you know, making those connections, uh, developing those contacts. Um, what are the tools in your uh, basket, as it were, uh, when you're dealing with these challenges? Right. Well, you know, we've had um, a lot of help, I have to tell you, from the Canadian government. Um, you know, we call on them uh, for knowledge uh, in terms of uh, market intelligence 
intelligence, yep. uh, for matchmaking, networking. Um, you know, they're very, very aggressive. They're very knowledgeable. They've been very, very supportive to us in the past. Mm -hmm. So if we need uh, that extra help, we do call on them, and they're always there for us. Right. Now you're talking about Canadian Trade Commissioners. Yes, exactly. Export Development Canada as well. Export Development Canada. Um, we just recently signed up with them to provide our international clients with terms. Okay. Uh, up until now, we were asking the clients to pay for their goods up front because of course when you export you have really no legal recourse. Right. So they were all having to pay for their product. But we found out from Export Development Canada that if the client qualifies, uh, we could provide them with terms based on paying a very small percentage as almost like an insurance. Right. So we have done that for all of our clients and it's worked out extremely well. Right. We are able to sell more product uh, to people because yeah. of uh, you know the, the cash flow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they would much rather have those terms and they've always got stock on the floor and now it's worked out very, very well. Mm -hmm. That's a great service. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about um, another challenge and obviously the housing market is, is, is suffering here in the, United, in, in the United States and here in Canada. Um, how, how does your company deal with these sorts of challenges? Well, I, I have to be honest, situation. yeah, the economic situation really hasn't affected us as yet. Okay. We've had an extremely good year. In fact, uh, October was the best month for us ever. Interesting. Yeah, so, um, you know what, I, I don't think it will. Uh, these, Like I say, these energy efficient type systems are becoming more and more popular. Yeah. So we're very, very optimistic about the future and these yeah. systems. How competitive is, is your industry? Um, Locally, it's not very competitive. Yeah. It's a it's a, a handful. Yeah. We've got a handful of competitors, and uh, like I say, we've got some products that are unique only to us. Mm -hmm. We're very diverse in the line of products uh, that we carry, yeah. and we're also a family business that employs 17 family members. So wow. we're extremely service oriented, yeah. and that's very very important for business today. So I mean, you're a small company. Uh, and doing obviously very innovative things uh, and doing a lot of things internationally. Um, yes. How difficult is that? I mean, 17 people is a small group of people to be... Well, 17 family members. We're right. 15 total, okay. but 17 of us are family. Right. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, I mean, uh, of course, there's always those challenges. Yeah. I mean, international yeah. work is, uh, is a lot harder than doing local business for sure. Right. But it takes an awful lot of patience. Mm -hmm. It takes a constant to follow up and a building of that relationship. Yeah. I mean, after all, business is about relationships. People have to have that trust. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, the quality we have, the service we have. And uh, yeah. yeah, once we found that we, we deal with them the first time, they're very, very loyal. It can right. take a long time to build that relationship, but international business, the people are extremely loyal and you do business for years after. Wow. Yeah. If you had to offer some advice to Canadian companies, uh, maybe just starting right. um, in their international expansion, what advice would you offer them? Well, I would tell them absolutely to contact uh, CMHC, uh, Export Development Canada. They are just a, a really a, a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. uh, all the trade commissioners are a wonderful people that are there to support you uh, day in, day out. Uh, they really know their markets. Uh, they mm -hmm. can offer you uh, a whole lot of information that can save you an awful lot of time and money. So that would be their their very first step, and be patient, and um, you know just be persistent. Yeah, thank you very much for your yeah. time. Thank you very much.